Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Tetris Lite. Now this is an official product which I'm just going to show you here. There we go, here's the official stamp. Pretty neat here. So it comes with seven individual pieces. It also illuminates on contact and you can create your own combinations. Apparently there are also endless possibilities. If I take a look at the back, there is an example of the actual size of the blocks as well as the pieces that you will get and on the front once again here's another example of what it's going to look like so anyway let's get unboxing and see exactly what's inside oops ripped a little bit uh, there we go so the, the box is um, quite flimsy it is quite easy to rip so if you do want to preserve the box do be careful Okay, so it's a box inside of a box. Inside another box. Flipping out. Okay, so there we go. So we have a little instruction manual here um, on one sheet of paper. There are many different combinations that you can use, which tells you. It also says uh, some things that you can do and some things that you shouldn't do, etc. And just some important information there. So the next thing to come out of the box is the AC adapter. Here's the first block. Stick one here. A T block. The line one, L block, we have the square block, the other L block, and the other kind of Z shaped one. Once they're all unpacked, the next thing to do is to obviously plug in the AC adapter. So I'm just going to plug this in now, and the first thing you want to do is power this, uh, this straight line up. And the reason why is because this is the hub for all of these. Basically, without this one, none of these are going to light up. So on the back, you will see there is the little slot where the power cable is inserted. And then there is a switch just to the right of that. There we go. So that's all lit up. And every time you add a new block on, they light up. There we go. Let's make sure that's on properly. There we go. So it's flushing a little bit, but I think that's because this is extremely un ah. There we go. So the surface that I'm I'm using is quite um, uneven. So that's probably why it was flashing. So yep. Yeah, so basically, you just stuck it up to however you want, and you've got yourself a neat little lamp.